Hey, it's Steve, and welcome to my shop. Now, I've used Inkscape and to a lesser degree Lightburn to do design work on projects for years, and for the most part, those tools have served me well. But what I'm finding is as projects get more complex, those tools are starting to slow me down. They don't actually fail, but things I think should take 20 minutes to design are taking an hour or more. And as we all know, time is money, and I have to figure out how to make things happen faster. This started a process for me to find a new design tool, and I really wanted something that was much more versatile than either Lightburn or Inkscape. And in this video, what I want to do is walk you through the process I, I went through to find a new tool, show you some key advantages of the one I picked, and why you might want to use it too. So if you want to find out what this new design tool is, then stick around. And here it is. It's a tool called Kittle, and you may or may not have heard of it, but it's been around quite a while, and it's certainly gained quite a bit of popularity in places like t-shirt businesses. Also, anywhere where they do graphic arts and they need to put things together really quickly, maybe they're making a poster, uh, maybe they're making some, some labels or stickers for their, for their business, it's great for that kind of thing. Uh, I don't generally do those things so much, but what I do is I create lots of logos and I also do some photo imagery both for my website and for my Etsy site. And Kittle solved the, both of those problems really quickly. The learning curve was super simple for me, so I had no problems. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is walk you through a couple scenarios. I'll certainly show you how I will create a logo, both from a template, and Kittle has thousands of templates, and we'll cover that, uh, as well as just starting from scratch and how you might wanna just create something quickly. Uh, and then I'll show you how I use this on my website. And that's enough to kind of get to the next step here. So let's create a logo. All right, so obviously if we want to start creating a logo, we'll click on logos and that will give us a lot of logos, as you can see, uh, more than I'm gonna count. These are templates and you can take these and use them as a starting point and you can modify. So I'm gonna simplify this because I'm gonna build a logo that's round. So I'm gonna search for round things and uh, any one of these will do. Let's start with this one. So once I select it, I can say use this in my design and now I'm ready to go. I can just edit anything I want and you can see I can just click on text here and what I'm gonna do is give this a name Notice when I unclick, this was already transformed on a circle, so that's why it's curved. And what I'm gonna do is change this one as well. And uh, there we go, it's, it's pretty simple. Now I don't want this image, I don't want this blue. So what I'm gonna do is change it to, to white. And actually I'll do it down here because I can edit everything from, from one place. Each layer here has a different color, by the way. So I'm also gonna get rid of this background color uh, because it's kind of pointless to me again because I'm gonna do some laser engraving. So we'll make that white as well. So now that I've got the basic outline for my logo done and I might make some more changes here, but this is fine for now. What I want in the center is a, a coffee cup, obviously. This is our fake coffee company. So I could go to Google Images and I could just grab something, or I could do something that lazy people would do, such as myself, and I could say, go generate an image. And I can generate a number of forms here, but I'm gonna leave it at this silhouette image. And what I wanna generate is a steaming coffee cup. And it will go off and generate it. This is all AI. You're, you're probably sick of hearing about AI, but here's a, here's a useful uh, opportunity for you to exploit it. And it will create a coffee cup for us. And there's a coffee cup. It's certainly acceptable. And I think we'll use that one. I can resize it. And Kittle also has all these cues for making sure that you get things in the right place. Uh, maybe I want to make that just a bit bigger. And uh, there we go, that's not a bad start. It's nothing that I would sell, but it, it works. Uh, now, what I might wanna do also is, uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this dot because it's driving me crazy. And uh, so there we go. Uh, now I'm also gonna change the background color of this kind of brownish to black, just so we have proper two-tone for laser engraving. I don't really like this font. It's a little too clean for what I'm what I'm trying to go for here. So I'm going to select both of these pieces of text and 
One thing you'll notice about Kittle is there are lots of fonts, endless numbers really. So you can certainly find something you want. I'm going to use this one called Milk Store just because it looks a little more kind of punky. Uh, and, uh, you know, I could certainly change the size. I could do some, some other things here if I wanted to. I think I'm still going to make this a bit bigger. Put it in the center. So there we go. It's a reasonable logo. Uh, and I did it in, in five minutes. So really simple and I used all the tools that are available, AI, I changed fonts, uh, I started from a template that, that saved me who knows how much time, and I can now export this out of Kittle and put it on my local, my local computer. And the way I can do that is I can click this export button up here. Uh, if you're using the free version, you'll have PNG and JPEG. Uh, if you're using the full version, you'll also have PDF and SVG. And you might want to use any of these for, for laser engraving. Uh, since you're probably going to play with this initially with the free version, I'll, I'll, I'll use PNG. It actually works better for logos anyway. And I'll just export that. And uh, now I can bring it into Lightburn and, and fire it to a laser. This video is about the design aspects of a project and the tools for that rather than engraving. So I'm not going to bore you with the details of importing this PNG file of, of the logo I created into Lightburn and figuring out what settings to use. Suffice it to say I did that. Now in Lightburn I did add a cut line around the outside and when I did the engrave here you can see the results are spectacular. It looks exactly like it did in Kittle which isn't a surprise. What is a surprise is I built this logo in five minutes and that is well worth the effort. All right, so clearly Kittle templates are the way to go, but let's say you're building a logo, maybe it's your own company logo and you've searched through the thousands of templates that are there and you just can't find anything that's close. So what do you do? Well, you create your own is the short answer. So I created a new project here and what I'm gonna do is just add some text and I'm gonna make it big here just to start so that I can see it. And I'll, I'll create uh, the logo for my own company and I'll start with the name. Now, my company and I can, I can mess around here with the size again once, once I have it, but my company uses, my branding uses this Montserrat font, which I'm going to use here. And I'll start with, with that and I'll stick it here in the center of the page somewhere. And what I'm going to do now is stick my own logo in there. So I've previously uploaded it and it's just an SVG file and I'll stick, I'll just drop it here because what I want to do is make sure that it fits in between the two words here. So I'll add a couple of spaces and make this a bit bigger again, and then just drop it in there. So that's pretty close. I won't go for deadly accuracy. Now I want to be able to cut this out after. So this one will be a vector image. So I'm going to create a, just a square around it and we'll just drop one on here and use the flexible resizing. Now, of course, I don't want a big black blob there, so I'll say I want my border to be maybe four and I don't want any color on the inside. Uh, so what I want to do is set the alpha to that, to zero, and the border on the outside is uh, we can even go a little wider just to make it stand out. So there you go. Very quickly created a simple company logo. And just to make sure that everything is lined up here, I'll take the main part of the logo and I'll group it. And then I'll select everything and I'll say align all of this to the, to the page. And voila, it's, it's really that simple. So I'm not going to laser engrave this one. I'm actually going to save this as a vector because what I'll do is I'll create a CNC image of this. I'll create a sign essentially uh, that is done on, on my CNC, which is the other tool I use a lot in my shop. And to create a file suitable for CNC consumption, I'm going to use export again 
But rather than using uh, PNG or JPEG uh, bitmap formats that are part of the free version of Kittle, what I'm going to do is use a vector format, which is part of the paid version of Kittle. And I'm going to start with an SVG file. Sometimes vCarve, when I import SVG files, doesn't interpret them very well, but I'll give it a shot anyway. If not, I'll come back and I'll export a PDF. And just so you know that I'm not doing anything nefarious here, I pushed this over to my CNC and you can see it cutting out here. Uh, in the end, the design looks exactly like it did in Kittle. Again, no surprise. Uh, coincidentally, uh, my tool paths ended up going through a single layer for each of the different, the different aspects of the, of the image. So it turned out really cool in the end anyway, uh, in spite of Kittle, but Kittle definitely made this a much easier job than it would have been in the past. All right, this video is getting a bit long, but I wanted to show you one more thing. If you're doing any online sales or market, you need marketing collateral for things you're building, then you're going to want this feature because it helps clean up a lot of, uh, if you're like me, poor photography. So under AI tools in Kittle, there's this AI product backgrounds uh, option, and I'm going to use that. And I'm going to start by uploading an image and it's an image of, a, of a, a river clock that I built. And you can see there's a couple things wrong. First of all, it's on a boring background, but it's also skewed. So what I'm gonna do is use Kittle to rotate it and then generate a nice background for it. Now, the first thing it's doing is removing the existing background and stripping it down. Then I can resize it if I want it to be a particular size. And because this one is skewed, I'm also going to rotate it a bit to get the number straight. And there we go. Now, I could pick a, a new background for this from a set that they provide by default in Kittle, or I can use AI, of course, to, to describe what I want to, to put it on. And let's say I want it to be put on a wall of barn boards, let's say. And we'll see what it looks like. So then I can generate a new background. So, and here we go. Second time it did a much better job. It put it on, on barn boards the way I asked and it looks really nice. And I could publish this if I, if I really wanted to. And uh, it's AI at its best. So very nice feature in Kittle. Uh, I discovered it by accident and I've quickly become reliant on it because my photography is generally so bad. So that's Kittle, it'll save you a ton of time and it's super easy to use. I can count the hours that I have saved in the short period that I've been using it in my shop. Uh, I won't be using Inkscape for this kind of design work going forward and I definitely won't be using Lightburn for any kind of design work in the future. It'll be laser control only for me. Now, full disclosure, I was evaluating Kittle before I created this video and I was about to buy the $10 a month plan because I wanted the vector export. Uh, meanwhile, Kittle reached out to me and asked me if they could sponsor a video. So I am officially getting paid for this video and you can take it for what it's worth, but Kittle will be in my shop going forward just because of the time it's saving me. So uh, I'll put a, a link down below. It's an affiliate link. If you wanna try out the free version, go right ahead. It's quite powerful and it'll give you a real feel for how easy this is to use. Then you can step up to one of the paid plans if you want. I have the $30 a month plan. It's the expert edition. It just gives you more, more capacity to store things and more AI uh, capability. Uh, anyway, we can wind down. So uh, get out there, make your world, and maybe you can do it with Kittle. And I'll see you next time.